I miss more time with you. I'm getting oh that God. life is in all these big, amazing moments. Sort yourself out, Kara. It's time together that matters. Like this. Well, who'd have thought hanging out with me would make you sentimental? I've had a good life, Dean. Sergey? Sergey? He knows what he's doing, this guy. The Angel Castiel. <laughs> the Angel Castiel. Will. Do you see anyone else? Is the holy fire really necessary? Self preservation makes many things necessary. Please. Sit. I think I need a few of those holy circles around my guy. As for my curriculum vitae, I'm passionately peripatetic, no roots. I've recrossed the globe many, many times over, studying and observing the skills of myriad witches, uh, seers, holy men, etc. And what is it exactly you do? Answer the unanswerable. What is that? Know the unknowable. And I am first and foremost a healer. And you know catch. We've never met face to face, but our reputations are mutually stellar. <laughs> I wouldn't call catch stellar. <laughs> then you have met him. But back to this Nephilim you've been fostering. Jack. His name is Jack. Well, Jack is in a pretty pickle. If what you're telling me is right, his condition is dire. Do you think it's reversible? Not as such, but it can be shocked out of its progression by a recharging agent. Think of it like you're uh, rebooting a computer. And where would one find such a thing? First and foremost, a healer. And... Can we trust this guy? Is that Grace? Yes, it is. Archangel Grace. Vintage. From Gabriel. In trade for my homebrewed cloaking spell. He used it to hide away in Monte Carlo. With porn stars, yes, I know the story. And Gabriel didn't think to go back to Sergei to get this when he needed Grace, huh? It must be administered along with the precise recitation of a spell. I got it wrong. I thought they'd be going for Michael. They didn't even need to do that. What is all of this going to cost? Don't insult me. I never take money. My skills are exclusively for Bartha. That's even more worrisome. But he's gonna cash in. But tell the Winchesters they owe me. Hmm, so we'll be seeing him again. Nick, I don't even know what you're talking about. He definitely knew something. He was so awkward when he was brought up the house. So Artie said when he told the cops what he saw, they threatened him. They said keep your mouth shut or else. It was like there was a what do you call it, a cover up. Like they were protecting one of their own. What does any of this have to do with me? Glad you asked, buddy. I got in contact with the reporter. And she gave me the name of the beat cop in our neighborhood. Wow. Yeah, guy she couldn't interview because he left town after the murders. See where I'm going with this? <laughs> I, look. I don't know what happened that night. I, I, your wife called the precinct, thought she heard a prowler. And? I'm walking up the front path, no backup. 
And suddenly, from out of nowhere, there's this guy. There's this guy. Said his name was Abraxas. Abraxas. The next thing I know, I'm back in the patrol car and I'm, I'm covered in blood. My wife's blood. And my baby's blood. Abraxas. Lucifer knew that man. <laughs> oh, is this going to come full circle? I was out of my head that night. I, I wouldn't kill anyone. Oh, I know. I know. You were possessed. What? You were possessed. Yeah, this, this, hold this. It's not your fault. But this was the hand that murdered my Oh, here we go. You're dead anyway, lad. And even if it wasn't you... It was still you. I can't let that slide. No. So Braxis was a demon that Lucifer knew. And then this demon just left the cop. And then the cops covered it up for Frank. Jesus. This feels this feels really dark for Supernatural. And it's weird because if if that would have been loose for then, I wouldn't feel as affected. But I think because it's a human versus a human, it I don't know what it just feels different, you know. So we're still not certain this is gonna work? No, we're not certain, but Gentlemen? Are you ready, Jack? Yes. Come on, please work, please work, please work. Potsioni hac restitutus eris omnia runt sicut erat. Please have glowy eyes. Please have glowy eyes. There they- Oh, they look different though. Something. Something good? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Definite look improvement. Look at Cass smiling, guys. It's great. Look at him. Smile. When do we see Cass smile? Jack. I hate the show. I hate it, and it's gonna. I did. <coughs> Jack. Jack. Say him again. Of course, we followed the instructions, I and Rowena performed the spell just... exactly as written. But he is worse. He's much worse. You need to come at once. I am a shaman. A real and the harmonics of the universe. I don't make house schools. Jack isn't just another sick kid. This is the son of an archangel of the Lord who is much more ill now because of your harmonics. And? Is Michael, is he working for Michael? You never said that. <laughs> if Jack dies. So we couldn't trust him. I will find you. <laughs> you can try. Oh, he will. He will. All right. I'm not very good at this, but the priest said it would help, so... Uh, I'm gonna try. I say that uh, I do the terrible things I do because I couldn't find who killed Sarah and Teddy. And that once I did, I'd be free of this darkness and its rage. But I lied. The truth is, I like doing these things. And I don't want to stop. I'm bonded to you. Because he's in the empty? Are. I mean, it's, it's... Is that the empty? how you first found me.
This is worrying me a bit. I don't know who I am if I'm not you. No consequences, no pain, no sorrow. I want that back. I want it back. I don't want to feel now what I didn't feel then. Where are you? It's me empty and you're actually calling for me, I think. <laughs> This can't be happening. This cannot be happening right now. Shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have taken him out. That was what he wanted. I mean, we knew he was going to get worse regardless. Yeah, but it was too risky. Yeah, but Dean... Dean, you did the right thing. Like uh, all of it is a risk. He said it was the best day. Jack knew that. And you made him happy. Mm. You did more for him than any of us. So, what can we do? Watch over him, stay by his side, as he dies. What? He what? I'm sorry, but it's a firm no from me. It's a very stern no writers. I am going to be very angry and upset if they kill off Jack. I think that he brings so much light, so much joy, so much meaning to the boys and Castiel's lives as well. And if they do kill him off, I feel like that's just a, a really cruel thing to do. I just... That they're my thoughts. Obviously making him human and stuff I understand because having him in this all-powerful being all of the time is gonna make for short plots because he can just solve everything really quickly because he's so powerful. So I understand like making him human and all the rest of it and I'm just hoping that this is just a little bit of a, of a hiccup but they will indeed find a way to heal him and he will be back and if they don't I'm just saying, I ain't gonna be happy. I think they will be making a massive, massive mistake. We're on season 14 now, so I know that there's only one more as well after this, which it does make me a lot more nervous because if they do kill him off, I don't know if I'm gonna be happy during season 15. I'm just saying, just saying. I don't know where to start on the breakdown of this episode now. Give me a moment, let me think this through. I'm gonna start with the way that the boys have handled Jack's illness. So let's start with Castiel. You can see that need and that fear in his eye when it comes to Jack and trying to make this whole situation disappear. You see his love, you see his light when he looks at him, that smile that he had when Jack was appearing to be okay after the grace. It was just unbelievable to see and I just loved every second of it. And I say second because that's all it lasted. <laughs> they ripped my heart straight back out when they realized that it was an experiment that Sergei decided to, to carry out. I think that there's more to that than we're, than we're being I am told right now. And I'm sure Ketch has got something to answer for as well, considering he uh, led them down Sergei's route. So the grace was held apparently for quite some time. And I'm wondering if maybe there's some sort of curse upon Jack that's making him reject the grace, either that or because he's had a taste of the grace and it wasn't enough to, to quench his thirst. Maybe he needs that constant feed. I've just got it in my head that when Lucifer was low on grace, he used Cupid's grace, he used angel grace, but somehow apparently, because he's a Nephilim, he needs something stronger. I just don't understand that, that whole concept. If his dad, could have the grace of angels and cupids and what have you. Surely Jack can, because you have levels. So surely a full archangel is more powerful 
than a half hybrid? Maybe it is though. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't understand the logic. When it comes to the whole Grace thing, I, ju I will never understand that. Like I don't understand Gabriel not drip feeding off a bunch of angels as well because Lucifer is obviously just taking it. So I get that, that that's a thing. He's rudely just taking it. But Gabriel's got so much charisma about him. He's a trickster. He could have got angels to give him an epic grenade, you know? And then he could have been full power during that battle. Like, yeah. I don't get it. Don't like that he's not better, he's somehow worse. He's, he's gonna die now again, even though he had so much. Cause that was a lot of grace in that little jar there. Obviously not enough. Maybe they do need Michael. Capture Michael, tie him up, take his grace, feed it to Jack. Jobs are good and right. Right. You just gotta find him. If they don't do that, because, I mean, Rowena couldn't even fix fix everything. So, Cass's powers didn't work. Rowena's powers didn't work. With the Book of the Damned, like what? A Shaman didn't work. Tell, tell me, they're not bringing Lucifer back from the empty to cure Jack. And then we just got Lucifer around again. Tell me that is not what's happening right now. I honestly thought when, when Dean slash Michael killed Lucifer, we were just done. Yet, yeah. Nick seemed to be calling him back from the empty there. Unless it was Jack doing that maybe? No, it, no I don't think it was. This episode has felt like a, a ride. We've had some smiles, some really nice moments, like the Dean and Jack moments, oh my days. I just live for them. The boys like Sam rushing him through to the hospital, already calling Rowena, doing all he possibly can to, to save Jack. And then we have Cass smiling at the thought of Jack being okay. So many little nice moments. And we also had some really painful ones, like Jack falling to the floor multiple times, him smiling like he's okay, and then a second later collapsing. The whole Nick thing going on a serial killer rampage to find the killer of his family, to then realize it was a demon possessing a policeman and he killed them anyway and he realizes that he's enjoying it. Lucifer's definitely left his mark on this on this guy. I was gonna say poor guy, but I mean I don't really feel that now because he's he's gone f over to the dark side and he's fully there now. He needs to be stopped. He definitely needs to be stopped and seeing Lucifer's red eyes in the empty, it's worrisome. It's definitely worrisome. I don't know where they're gonna go with it, but I'm excited to find out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to. But as always, there's no pressure here. I stream every Friday and Saturday over on Twitch. Please click on that link below to check it out. We have we even read some fan fiction on one of the streams as well. We've watched fan edits together, gone through comments on Patreon, on YouTube, on everything. It's just a really nice time over on Twitch, come and join us. And I also have a Patreon where I have extended videos and early uploads over on there. And it's a right riot, so join over there. It really helps support the content, keeps it coming out. And I'm very appreciative of each and every one of my patrons. Please check the description below to see all of the sponsors of my content. I love each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you. I hope you know how much I appreciate you. And without you, honestly, this content wouldn't be a thing. So thank you so, so much. from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all for being here and I hope to see you for the next reaction. Bye guys.